the vast expanse of beige filling your screen is the lid of my case for this job. The motherboard that was in here has been damaged by batteries leaking. So I've cleaned this up nicely. I haven't got this screwed in. This is a monstrous piece of sheet metal. The power supply sits in the back here and the floppy drives go in there and a five and a quarter inch bay can go under here. Um, the power supply fitment in these is quite unusual. Um, if we get one, it can be seen that it, it, um, actually lines up with holes right through. A modern ATX one, there's a, there's a big gap. There's not an additional cutout for the Molex, sorry, for the Molex, for the jug cord in, in, in the case. But, but these, these are not like that. The, the Amiga ones, um, yeah, there's your thing. They very very special form factor. I don't believe it's used anywhere else. Anyway, this case is in pretty good shape. When I purchased the motherboard, I purchased an insulation sheet that's sitting in the bottom here. It's um, I don't know what plastic that is. Probably um. By the feel of it, it's um, polyethylene. <clears throat> it's just soft, very soft. And it was slightly oversized. I actually had to cut it down each side and I think only across the back edge. Um, there are some gotchas here. This standoff here looked like it was broken and I started trying to figure out what to do about that. But there's no matching hole in the motherboard in the spot it's underneath the um, Zoro slots. And these screw holes, I was confused about this one. Not this one because of where I got my connector from, but I was confused about... Oh, sorry. This one here, right at the front of the case. That's a mouse port for the joystick. So a mouse port there and a joystick port there, both DB9s. This fellow... Um, has to go through the um, mouse connector and as you should be able to see I had to um, clean this hole back out come on focusing woohoo you can see my finger So, that, that caught me out, but I need to be able to put a screw through into that hole. So that was a bit interesting. Um, and I don't know if it comes out on camera, yeah it does just barely, it looks like there's a light shining through here and it's not, it's just paint from when the, the back of the case was painted. The um, overspray came through the holes, it's quite cool. No, I, I didn't do that. That's, that's Commodore, I believe. I, I don't think it's ever been painted. This is a really nice feature as well. The case doesn't have sides on it, in particular. This, this is on here and pop riveted down here to provide some rigidity. But this stops is all that stops the whole back plane, back plane, no, back of the case, from folding off. With this removed, the case is actually extremely flimsy. Um, Again, not a feature I've ever seen in any other computer case, but I haven't seen the insides of a lot of computer cases either. So, this goes on here. Um, there are cutouts for those tabs, and it fits in this slot here at the front. There's a... There's a it really is quite solid without any screws because it can't move. It's 
stuck in there really nicely. Um, there are a couple of little spots of rust on here which I cleaned up fairly thoroughly, um, somewhat down a bare metal, and just gave them a dab of clear nail polish just for good measure. Same around these screwed in things. I think they were they've been um, welded in a very fancy way, and it, it's mucked up the, the zinc coating on the inside of the case. No sign of rust, but I just gave them a, a swipe with with clear nail polish as well. Um, case is in pretty good condition. I did observe that the labels for for um, I'll put it the right way out for you um, are not of the same quality as the A2000 ones. The 2000 hard drive ones um, fade more and, and, and um, when, you, when, I, when, I, when the case has been wiped at some stage it's taken up a little bit of moisture around the edges and discoloured it slightly. Uh, happily though I have found a source for brand new replacement labels um, all done in vinyl. They should be far more durable um, and I will use a new label on this case when the time comes. But yes, a beige surface. Anyway, a couple of gotchas there and a bit of a look at how this thing goes together. The um, front panel LEDs are not in yet, they, they clip onto the steel of the case. They clip in, uh, this is them here, uh, this is them here and they, they snap in on here and then the case slides over them. They, they stay with the case, which is a great thing, of course. Um, I'm also going to do something a bit different with the clock battery. The more I think about the case, part of the problem with the case is that it's not possible to... Um, I'll just pop this out of the way. It's not possible... I'll be back. It's not possible to access the clock battery really when all the drives are installed. So I've already put the um, I've already put the <coughs> coin cell holder on the board. Um, over here, and I'm persuaded that well, and I've got a diode in here so that it can't charge the coin cell, and I'm persuaded that. Like you can get rechargeable coin cells. I'm persuaded the coin cells are highly unlikely to ever leak for any reason, which is great. Um, I'd prefer certain not to. So there's a hole here. I don't know exactly what it's for. I've got some really nice Teflon coated, quite fine wires that I have for um, other work that I sometimes do. It's hobby stuff. And so what I'm going to do is tag the bottom of this with the Teflon wires, run them up through this hole and install a um, battery holder way up near the, the, the top of the case that's easy, relatively easy to access. And the problem, the only problem I'll have then is if this happens, the battery's short-circuited, so I will make a dummy plastic CR2032 to go in this holder. Um, I don't know yet if I'll 3D print it or turn it on my lathe. It's, it's well, it's a CR 2032, so it's um, 20 millimeters in diameter and 3.2 millimeters thick. Uh, I should be able to part that off on the lathe without any trouble out of plastic. Um, it would be a much nicer job than, um, than a 3D printed part, so that's most likely what I'll do sort of one of those things that came up as I sort of sat here and looked at it and inspected it was the, the, the prospect of doing that slightly differently and so if I will I'll run that up and maybe go out to the front of the case I can pop a new coin cell in having a working real-time clock battery thing in a computer of this age is op is optional um, but it is it is nice and it's nice for the file system as well so there you go case couple of other ideas 
pretty light on in terms of content, but oh well, you know. As I've said before, this channel's all about what I want to show. Um, and it seems some people find it interesting, and that's awesome. Um, it's um, it's not low, you know, a mile a minute content. 